the inside diameter of a sampler see uh, uh, before uh, telling the question this diagram is not given in the question so this i have pasted here here in the question only this paragraph is given you have to remember the figure you have to know the what is inside diameter what is d3 what is d4 what is d1 d2 you should know this this figure this figure and these things are not the part of the question the question is only this much from here to here the inside diameter of a sampler tube is 50 mm the inside diameter of a cutting edge is kept such that inside clearance ratio is 1% to minimize the friction on the sample as the sampler tube enters into the soil the inside diameter in mm of the cutting edge is how much so here any sampler if you see it should be it will be in this shape see so this this part is called cutting edge this is cutting edge you should remember this see this figure is not the part of the question this i have taken for your reference only question is from here to here anyway now this is the sampler tube above this this is the sampler tube and this is the cutting edge right so uh, while designing this sampler to take the sample from the uh, soil uh, three things three design factors we should keep in our mind that area ratio inside clearance ratio outside clearance ratio these three things should be satisfied so here there is certain uh, range for inside clearance ratio outside clearance ratio so inside clearance ratio it should be in between 1 to 1% to 3% you remember that okay now anyway uh, how it is designed the inside diameter of the cutting edge is kept such that inside clearance ratio is 1% to minimize the friction on the sample as the sampler tube enters into the soil see whenever this sampler tube is entering entering into the soil okay to take the sample see there is a soil cylinder which enters okay as it is going down soil will enter in this sample tube so when it is crossing this cutting edge so soil sample will go like this so there is some gap left between this tube and this sample because to avoid the friction between this and this so that this will stay as undisturbed okay now anyway so the uh, you should be clear what is inside diameter of the sampler tube this is inside diameter of the sampler tube and this is outside diameter of the sampler tube this is inside diameter of the cutting edge and this will be the outside diameter of the cutting edge you should be very clear so here it is uh, denoted d1 inner diameter of the cutting edge d1 inner diameter and d2 is outer diameter of the cutting edge d3 is inner diameter of the sampler tube d4 is outer diameter of the sampler tube now what is the inside clearance ratio inside remember it inside you have to take only inside diameters see, see d3 is also inside diameter d1 is also inside diameter d3 minus d1 divided by d1 it should be with respect to the cutting edge inside clearance ratio so the formula you know and you have been given the uh, you should know all these formulas okay and you should know how how does the sampler tube looks then only you can solve this question so now uh, d3 minus d1 by d1 into 100 is inside clearance ratio okay so which is given as 1% in the question now inside diameter of the sampler tube see d3 is inside diameter of the inside dia of the sampler tube whereas this one is for inside diameter of cutting edge 
cutting edge this is given as how much 50 mm inside diameter of the cutting edge is uh, uh, so inside diameter of the cutting edge is how much you need to find out what is d1 d1 how much so you just substitute 50 minus d1 by d1 into 100 equal to 1 percent so 50 minus d1 by d1 equal to 0 0.01 just let us solve this mm, 0 0.01 d plus d 1.01 d right ok then d equal to 50 by 1.01 .01. what is the value it should be 49 by 9.5 mm d1 ok therefore d1 equal to 49.5 mm 49.5 mm it is asked in mm thank you